Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Charles with Elite Swimming Pools and today I want to show you a very quick repair on what you can do if, I mean, what can you do? Now, what can you do? It's, if this happened to you, I'm going to show you on your Hayward C751, C900, or C1200 cartridge, and even a C1750, this will work for it, how to replace the handle for the lid. The things you're going to need, let me show you right now. All you simply need is a long screwdriver, some lamp magic lube, or some type of uh, seal lubricant, and the actual parts. So today we're gonna be working on a Hayward, I think it's a Star Clear, Star Clear Plus. I don't know, we just call it the C1200, or C751, or C900. It's basically, a 120 square foot filter for Hayward. You need your locking knob and a cap kit. So what actually happened with ours, you know what, instead of me telling you, let me just show you. Just in case if you don't know, we came to service this swimming pool the other day and we found the filter lid completely popped, just like this. All out, motor's running. So what do you think really happened? Let me show you. Now I'm hoping that the seals on the pump didn't burn up because it was running. We don't know when this happened client never told us what happened or when this happened so take a look so we had the water level in this pool drop three and a half inches and then the skimmer started running sucking air so we lost all this water thank goodness well it's like a good and a bad thank goodness the skimmer was open that it uh, and wasn't closed because this whole entire pool would have drained out if the skimmer was closed. <sighs> but um, if it was open, like it was, thankfully, but not thankfully, the seals in the motor could have burnt up, the plumbing could have uh, overheated. But nevertheless, we're here and I'm gonna show you right now what you need to do and how to replace this handle right here. This handle itself on the inside, right in there. Hopefully it's focusing and then give it some light. There, that handle inside of the hole is where the bar goes and the threads are stripped. So we're gonna take that out and basically what we're gonna be using is our long screwdriver, flathead, stay in place. Let's see if I can find a nice place where this can stay steady. Right. That's perfect right there. Okay. And what we're gonna do is you take your flathead and you're gonna pull back on this C-clip right here. You're gonna wedge it in between and kind of twist, removing that C-clip. Get it from the other side, work it from the other side. Just moving that C-clip out of the place. It's hard to do this with one hand, but you get the idea.
there. All right. C clips out. Okay. Then here goes the washer. Set that to the side. It says now we're. All we gotta do is either you can pull it completely out by hand. If it doesn't, then you gotta. I put my flathead in the center there, and I just knock it straight out from the inside out. And as you can see, you see here the handle, and then it has this washer. What you will need to replace this is uh, for the C1200. The C well, actually, let me start from the from the very lowest, from the C751, the C900, and the C1200. They all use the same locking knob okay the locking knob is the cx 900g they all have the same uh size valve stem right here um or handle stem threaded stem however you want to call it and the c1750 is the only one that you're going to need that is different this one fits the c751 the c900 and the c1200 if you have a cx uh, 1750 basically 175 square foot uh, Hayward filter and this one is yes like I said this is the star clear plus you're gonna need uh, the C17 CX 1750G second thing you're gonna need they all use the same they all use the same cap kit it's a CX 900 DA it basically it has the cap and all of the washers and locking uh, in the C-clips and everything inside of here. So, with further ado, we're gonna set my little camera up. So, first thing, you open up your Get your locking knob, brand new. You don't need that. And you open up your cap kit. This is your dome. This helps you find the bar when you're centering it. So put that to the side. We won't need that right now. You're gonna have two washers, okay? You have an O-ring. And then your C-clip. First thing you want to do is you put one of the washers on your locking knob. Next, you take your O-ring, you slide over the, the stem, and you work it down. Okay? Here is where I like to take the magic lube or the O-ring uh, lubricant. Get a little bit of it. Lube up your O-ring to make it easier as you're spinning it. And then I like to put a little bit on the valve stem to help feed it through the hole. Go ahead and slide that in, smack it into place, like so. Now you wanna flip it over. And then the next thing that's gonna be needed, I wish I could find a better place for this. Let's see, there. Next thing you want to do is the other O-ring you have. That goes in place. Okay. And now comes the C-clip. C-clip goes right on top. How that fits in place. Then you're going to take your flathead. And there's a special slot right in here. That's why you need that washer, the plastic washer. Once you bite it into place, I'm gonna angle this out a little bit. There, and you see this little groove right here, the flat groove. This little, I like to base the back of it, you know, on one of these, however you fit it out, because as you go to push it in, you're gonna need some kind of leverage to slide. It's gonna happen to you, it happens to me all the time. Give it a cut. Open the 
Jeez. Working with one hand is not easy. Holding it with my feet. And I should hold you guys to subscribe. The way that I try to give you guys this content. Right angle. And use a little bit of gravity. Ah. No specific science to this. You just need to bite it and push it in place. Okay, get back in there. it push it right into place all right what I did was I just held one corner to get it in place that's the way it's supposed to look now you're gonna go ahead and retest it make sure that uh, since it popped off check your threads here that's yeah, I think they're all good I'm gonna remove the the old cap kit here Now the cap kit, I mean the new cap, goes right in there. Nice tight fit, see it helps, that helps center the bar. As you go to put your lid on place. We were having a problem with this bar, it was only biting half of the one thread. And I kind of knew this was gonna happen. I told the client, but he was out of turn. He didn't get me my message and this happened. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Make sure everything here is good. Make sure it's all tight. Make sure there's no broken seals. Come on, baby. Give me that water. Here it comes. Watch out. Always step back. We had that issue. That bar is supposed to stay to the bottom. But since we had this issue, this popped out, we just don't know what could potentially happen again. We always want to step back and make sure that we don't have another blowout. That will be bad. And I think we're all good here. So, I'm gonna make sure we have our skimmer closed, which is this valve right here. And we have only our main drain running. We're looking good here. So that is how you replace the locking knob for Hayward Star Clear Plus C751, C900, C1200. And this is the same steps for a C1750. The only difference with the 1750 is you need the 750 locking knob. Cap kit is the same. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe to my page. Just, just hit the button. I have, I want to hit at least a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Guys, please help me out. Um, it's a small ask to ask for you guys, but just hit the button. I'm bringing you all this value and how to do these little things here and there, these little tips and tricks. Show me some love. Thank you so much.